Welcome to Electro Online. Now let's take a look at the case where we have three resistors in parallel instead of two resistors. What that means is that the current going, for example, from point A to point B in a circuit now has three different paths that it can follow. The current can go to the top resistor, it can go to the middle resistor, it can go down to the bottom resistor. More paths, therefore the total resistance will be less when we have three instead of two resistors. Of course, proportional again to the size of the resistors that we're using. And again, the question could be asked, what is the equivalent or total resistance? In other words, what would we replace those three resistors in parallel with in order to get the exact same behavior in the circuit? What will be the equivalent or total resistance? To find that out, we need to use the one over rule. One over the total resistance is equal to one over R1 plus one over R2 plus one over R3. Now, if there were four or five, you go plus one over R4 plus one over R5 and so forth. That's how we calculate the total or equivalent resistance in a circuit that has three or more resistors in parallel. Here we can use the product over the sum rule. So let's go ahead and plug in the values and see what we get. So here now we're going to leave off the ohm symbol to make it a little bit cleaner to work with. So 1 over the total resistance is therefore going to be equal to 1 over R1, which is 3 ohms, plus R2, which is 5 ohms, plus 1 over R3, which is 2 ohms. Now notice we have three fractions. Looks like the common denominator in this case, since they're all prime numbers, is going to be the product of them, which is 30. So this can be written as 10 over 30 by multiplying both the top and bottom by 10. This would be plus 6 over 30 by multiplying top and bottom by 6. And this would be plus 15 over 30 by multiplying the top and the bottom by 15. So now we have a common denominator, so this can be written as 10 plus 6 plus 15 all divided by 30. And with other words, the total resistance then can be written as 16 plus 15, that would be 31 over 30 ohms, just slightly more than 1 ohm resistance for the three connected in parallel. So if I was going to replace those three by a single equivalent resistor, it would then be a resistor with a resistance of 31 divided by 30 ohms. There we go. So that's how we add up and find the equivalent resistance of three resistors in parallel. And that's how it's done.